Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was one of those gloomy days. The, the rain was pouring down when I got up this morning. It was raining all day on and off. The sun did not shine. I wore my sweater all day because it was it's chilly. I couldn't sit outside at all. I couldn't even, I, in fact, when I went outside, I had to put my boots on because the ground was so squishy. And um, my shoes would have got full of mud, and then I take them in the house, and then I scrape out the mud out of the out of the grooves that are inside the sh on the bottoms of the shoe. I wish they'd make the shoes smooth so that you wouldn't have that problem, but they want you to make sure you have some tread. Today, when I got up, I went down and, and to my daughter's and got a haircut, and then later on, the girl that I cut hair for came, and she got a haircut. Went to the bank today because I don't know if you have um, ever gotten CDs. CDs used to be really good, good um, interest. Well, I bought CDs for all of my grandkids, and what I. Kind of, what is a CD? CD. I don't know. Certificate of deposit. <laughs> it's from the bank. <laughs> Certificate of deposit. Okay, yeah. is a CD, not the CD you play music on. Not the CD that you put in the computer to, to burn videos to. Not the CD that you put in the TV to play video or play anything. It's a certificate of deposit. Okay. Yes. I got one for every grandchild, thinking that as they grew, it would grow. Well, the interest on these things are terrible. So I went to see the financial advisor today to see whether he could do something better with these um, CDs that we have for the kids. And um, even if I pay a penalty, I'm still farther ahead. So he's going, I had all of them, all seven of them changed over to this other um, higher interest thing. So, but it has to stay there for 55 months which is fine because there was no reason for it to even be, they have to grow up and the one that will have to wait just a tad longer, but they all can wait now till 21. I was planning on at age 18 giving it to them, but I think they can wait till they're 21. And that way um, they will all have more in the end. The only one that won't have as high is probably Abigail because she's the oldest and so as the, as they age to 21 then they will get their CD and the youngest one will get the most because it's going to take them longer to get there. Then um, after I went, let's see, when I got my hair cut then I went shopping. I went down to the store and I bought, I've been looking for beads. Well I found some. They're like this. They're like a, they're a seed bead. I was looking for eight millimeter, but they don't put even the millimeters on these things. They just, they do them different. Then I needed a needle to thread them onto crochet thread, which is this thread. And um, the need, then I needed a needle that I could thread, that I could actually thread because the eye on the needle is so bad. And so these, these are not um, bead, bead needles, but they have a big eye. So I put it on the thread, I was able to thread it. And then I was threading, oh my goodness, for like an hour. This is what I was doing for an hour. It takes forever. And the more you thread, the drowsier you get. Well, what I'm hoping to do with this is I wanna try and crochet, I don't know if you know, a long time ago, the older ladies, the old ladies. <laughs> I know, I'm one of those now, I think. But anyways, I wanna try to make a rope bracelet. They used to make rope necklaces, rope bracelets. They used to make a lot of things with the beads and crocheting or sewing. And I wanna do the crochet method. I wanna try and do that. But I had to string the beads on the thread first, on the embroidery thread, or crochet thread, it's not embroidery thread, it's crochet thread. I had to thread the beads on that first because as you crochet, you leave it, leave the bead there and crochet it into the project. And so we're gonna see if I can even do this. If I can't, I'll be just having a lot of beads for the kids to play with. 
because um, sometimes you think you can do something and sometimes you can't. That sounds like an advertisement. That sounds <laughs> no, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will see. I, it's with a really small crochet hook and I'm used to using larger crochet hooks. So this ought to be interesting. So that's what we did. And then Jim went down to get a uh, external hard drive because I don't know what you do with your um, YouTube things that you you um, Video. videotape. Do you keep the originals or do you delete them every time after you make your video or what do you do? But I have all the original footage and it was saved onto the hard drive and then every time you um, render or do the cutting and pasting and whatever that's also with it so that's on it too so it ends up filling up your computer to the point where you don't have room or your hard drive so it gets gets kind of full so i do delete things off the camera but they're on the computer or in the hard drive and I wondered, what did, what do you do with yours? I've got over 400 videos, which is a lot of videos. And some of you that have been doing this for years and years and years have a lot more than 400 videos. And I was wondering, what do you do? Do you just delete them and let the video be up in YouTube and let them store it? And hopefully you don't delete by accident like I did one time. And luckily, I had the original. I just had to do the the um, editing on it again to get it back up but um, I was curious as to what you do well that's it for today I don't have anything exciting really it's just kind of all everyday kind of stuff today and um, you have a great tomorrow and I'll see you then bye bye